Hey guys, it's Genesis Probe, and welcome back to another episode of Terra. Last time, we did the entire Divine Furnace and rescued Murak, as well as destroying the furnace that Thalsa had under his control. And I'm creaking my chair a lot. In this episode, we have to go stop Killian before Thalsa can do horrible things with him and, uh, or with Kelsaic and with Killian's help. So, we're gonna go to the Labyrinth of Terror. Again, my le second least favorite dungeon. The only reason it's not number one is because a later dungeon can pretty much instant kill you. Even if you're like max level on a brawler and it's actually really tedious. And it's one of the only dungeons, it's the only dungeon in the game that I have to play in a party to beat. Not this one, but the other one. Like I said, we'll be getting to that one a little bit later when we get to that dungeon, but for now, we need to make our way down the Bridge of Grief. And before we get to the Bridge of Grief, though, we happen to have a little campsite here. So, we have some quests we want to pick up. Attention. You look ready for battle. This is the Furnace Approach. And I got stuck on the campfire. And so we have a couple of missions we have to do inside. Kill Arachnid Pain Weavers. Collect 20 gold coins from the mercenaries in Shriekle Hall. And then Argon armor, Armored Argon Hides in Tragarian Hall and Agonal Hall. And then we need to kill the Jesters in Tragarian Hall. Tragarian Hall and Agonal Hall. Looks like someone played a Do I need to sell anything? Buy anything? That is better than what I have, but I can't... I guess I can't equip it. So we'll sell that go in here and we'll just I can't equip it that enchantment effects to remove enigma um, I don't have any enigmatic scrolls so we'll just go ahead and we'll sell it since I can't equip it might as well make some money off of it and now we'll make our way down and into the bridge of grief as well as picking up one more mission along the way from Shigar I get distracted by mirrors why? Now we also have to go in and kill the hyenas and zulhounds. We get 20 agonal hyenas and zulhound sentries. So you can see the bridge of grief is kind of messed up over a lava pool or lava river because why not? I don't actually believe. Can we go down here? I don't think we can. Yeah, we can't. I want to go on that section, but it's an, it's guaranteed death, which is why they don't let you go on it. Anyway. As you can see, we have one more thing to do before we enter. Two more things to do. Three more things to do. First off, for we could talk to Elian, but instead we want to pick up the Puzzling Monument. Because by standing near the Puzzling Monument, we get the Bridge Partner. Which, we get this achievement for finding the Puzzling Monument by the Bridge of Grief, which gives us another 30 points. So much to do. Making good progress. We just broke the seal and Jelna went in first. Let's go! All right, Tarnish, what do you have to give to me? We got to get Conwar's horns by killing Alistair. All right. This is going to be a tough dungeon. This is, n again, this one is not one I like very much, but it's definitely a hard dungeon. Killian must know we're on our way, so be careful, eh? So dark and damp. Hard to believe a god lives here. <laughs> Mortals, no sense of style. Glad you could make my little party. I hated to let you go last time. Now, how should a host greet his guests? Ikaruna? With exquisite gifts. A pig! Watch out! <laughs> Not too bright, is he? You really thought you could beat a god? I can sense your fear. Let's take it up a notch. Die! No! Elian! <laughs> I'm gonna hold off. You're actually interesting. Come to my chamber alive. There, face to face, I'll tear you to pieces. Well, Elliot's in mortal danger. 
I can't let Elian die. I just can't. I know Elian would want me to leave him and go with you, but he's in no position to argue. I feel horrible, though. It's okay. I got this. I know you do. I'll be back in Haber, and I want all the details. So go kill a god already. Let's move him to Haber quickly. Ugh. And now they're both gone. This is going to be intense. But I'm pretty sure we can handle this. So, we can pick either right or left. I go both ways because we have to deal with all of the enemies. So, but look at this. These guys are, they're barely under 50% after a full combo. Look how much work it takes just to kill these enemies. They do drop a lot of items, which is great. So this is a really good way to get a lot of items early on. But it's definitely risky. Like, doing this alone is very risky. I, I could have gone for instance matching, but... Again, I don't usually like doing instance matching. I missed! Ah, hike it! Really? Ow, oh, I killed you. Also, when the statues, if you saw that up there, when the statue fires out, you need to be very careful. I could go out that way, but I think I'm just going to go backwards. I don't actually know what makes those things trigger. But getting hit by them can be very problematic because I I believe it lowers your max health. Anyway, we're going to go in here. Now we have a ton of enemies. Super armor, let's go. Now you're all dead. Thank you very much. I love having that super armor, def uh, perfect defense, or the super armor defense when casting Divine Wrath. It's great. Anyway, we have now completed the upper area. Next thing to do, there's never any enemy enemies up top, so now we gotta head down into the Hall of Screens. And here we have a bunch of Zolhound um, along the way that we have to take care of. At least I managed to one-shot it. I do need to be careful. Oh, almost got hit, but I didn't, luckily. So we have Chaos Mistress here we have to take care of. Also, now we only have to kill one of these two enemies that are in this area, but... I am going to end up killing both of them because experience. So we have Croak, the maestro here, which he can be hard. But you need to be kind of you need to make sure you're standing in the middle of the room pretty much the entire time. And you should be okay. Ah, dang it. So now he is dead, but the problem is now all the things in here will continuously be aggroed, and we can't kill those. We can't kill those statues. So now we are in permanent aggro throughout pretty much the entire dungeon, which is one of the reasons I don't like it very much. And then there's also this. Wait, she's out of the air? Oh, that's a mercenary? Okay. I'm gonna heal myself. I don't actually think this does damage. It's just a nuisance. I do have to be careful of that statue. Anyway, and in here we have... Zallary the Lasher. So you only have to kill one of those two. Uh, the Maestro or Zallary. You don't have to kill both. Okay. Bye. She didn't die. So each time, when you kill one of them, you get that somewhere door opens line. 
and by killing each each of them you get one of these doorways to open we don't need to kill the blood stalkers so i am going to go off this way because we have the mercenary over here as well as the chaos mistress and the painting we have everything over here Nice. We got everything. I might as well also summon zero. Wrong one. I don't I don't think he actually fights. Anyway, just keep going forward. Okay, I'm actually not doing too bad. For how much I hate this dungeon, things could be going a lot worse. So if we do end up going the other way, we would come out over there right by the stairs. And actually, I think I will go that way just to kind of show you guys what's over there. Because we have no more enemies to fight in this pathway. The only enemies left are on the other side. And there's a couple blood stalkers plus a, technically another mini boss. Wait, let's go ahead and head over there. Welcome back to the Hall of Screams. We're not in the Hall of Screams anymore. So this guy in here is a little mini boss, but before we get to him, we're gonna get rid of these guys. God, meat grinder is actually really good. All right. Hello, Invisair, the mercenary captain. Talk about getting comboed. Bye. So upon killing him, the gate that was here disappears. There's not really anything else. It's just this little gate here disappears. And we are right at the stairs. And there's also nothing else over there. So welcome to Trigar Trigarin Hall. Trigarin Hall? I don't know. We're here. We have some musicians. And some rotting zombies. Give ourselves some super armor. Kill everything really quickly. They're annoying. What do you expect me to do? So we will have to come in here and kill Killian's musicians a bunch of times. Which you only have to make it to this point, kill these guys, and then you can leave and reset the instance if you like. But, um, yeah, you have to kill 20 of them at some point, I believe. And there's only ever two in a run. There's that one and this one. And I believe there are not any more over the rest of the entire dungeon. There may be one or two more, but it's very, very tiny. Here we have some archers. Freeze. You win. Knock you up. That was bad. Nice. You guys didn't drop anything. Oh boy, these things again. There are a lot of rotting zombies in here. We gotta look out for that thing as well. One thing I like to do is just train these dudes. Pretty much get all this free experience. There we go, they're all dead. Look at that, easy enough. So, now we're gonna go around here, through here. <coughs> Honestly, this is actually going a lot better than it usually does when I play through this dungeon. This dungeon's usually awful. So we'll you up. Smash you to the ground. Knock you all back up. Just 
kidding. There we go. And now, oh, and the Bandmaster. The Bandmaster. The Bandmaster comes with the Agonal Hyena. Careful of that thing, though. Like I said, I don't know what makes them trigger. Which is why I'm careful whenever I have to be around those things, because they fire out in a cone in front of them. More zombies! Hello. Got all of them? Yes. And then more of them in this next group. When I said all of them, I meant that group. That's all of them, and they give a lot of experience, if you could. 26,000 experience apiece. And here we have the first boss, Arsakar. Lots and lots of HP. God, that hurt. Forty per 
percent. Speed this whole thing up anyway. go Jesus long ass fight I just pick up all these items Whew. what can I equip any of those no I can't and I'm gonna drop that strong box probably do I need that strong box I need the strong box key I don't need any of those things all right one boss fight down that took like seven or eight minutes. God, that took forever. <laughs> Probably didn't actually take that long, it just felt like it took a million years. All right, hello everybody. Kind of annoying that all those uh, little Calbo guys don't count towards that Argon total. Wait, there's an, oh no wait, this is the one with the Cayman dude. Yes, yeah, so we need to kill the Cayman Pyro. Remember, this is for an achievement. We have to kill him th three times? For the Northern Shara. Labyrinth of the Terror, Labyrinth of the Terror. Yeah, defeat three Cayman Pyros. So you, er you come through. So this is a shortcut to the end of the dungeon. If I go to the map here and I go down, this is where we need to go. No, this is where we need to go. So you would just fight this guy and then come through here. Otherwise, we have to go all the way through here to fight the Labyrinthine Stalker. There's an extra room here, and then we could go through here, all the way to here, come down here, and we have to kill the Killian's Gestures. Here's Alistair, more Jokers, and then we get there. So either way, gets you what you need. Gets you where you need to go. But I'm gonna keep going the normal route because I have to kill a bunch of Argons and stuff. But yeah, if only these Kelba Charters actually count towards the Kelba. But I do, I'm pro when I come through here again, because I'm going to be coming, we need to come through here a bunch of times. We can take that short route and def defeat a different boss. No, I can't. 
canceled it. I use the best CC. Death. Or kill, sorry. These Kama Scouts aren't worth very much. All you up here. Something damaged me. Oh, you did. I was wondering what hit me. Alright, all the enemies are clear. So now we have to fight these two Lithokuma Sentinels. Or Lith the Guardian Lithokumas and the Lithokuma Sentinels. We have to kill both of them. Of course, they're just Lithicum monsters. They're not too bad. I think the hardest part is that you have to fight two of them at once. But a lot of the times, one of them will just stare at you until he's at half health. Why he kept trying to fight me with long range attacks when I very easily just kept countering that. So, from there, the next thing we need to do is come in here and kill Halvarog. And if I remember this boss, if they didn't change him, we're gonna have to wait a while. I remember during this boss fight, you used to be able to pull out a campfire and actually fully heal yourself and restore your stamina in the middle of the boss fight. It's actually pretty bad. So, hello, Halvarog. He has ground spell. So yeah, his thing is he buries under himself underground. myself a bit. Potions here.
Don't combo me. Ah, oh, he's doing the thing. Yeah, he's doing the thing. Alright. Well, this was a fun boss fight. I love this boss fight because this happens. I'll I'll speed this up and see you guys at the end of it. You actually ready for a boss fight this time, buddy? Pushing me into a corner. Stop it. I don't want to go into a corner. Keep my distance.
Because they didn't fix this fight. Yeah, I'm no longer in combat. Alvarog, I've been recording for 38 minutes. We're barely halfway done with this dungeon. Yes, halfway. Just remember, we still need to go downstairs and get to Killian. Yeah, no, these... You used to be able to do this super easy, and then they decided to pretty much revamp all the dungeons to make it practically impossible. She's like, well, these are way too hard. Not too hard, they just take way too long. You can't go this, I believe we can't, can we destroy this? We cannot. We're gonna go this way. Now look, we have another boss, Dracarath. You need to block pretty much all of his attacks. Because he will put you on fire, and that is not fun.
Okay, that's done. Gonna pop both potions. 89 silver. 50 minutes. Still have another boss. Do you understand why this dungeon sucks? <laughs> this one is horrible if you're doing it solo. It's just such a pain. I can't even get across how much I hate this dungeon if you have to do it solo. Like, the other ones aren't terrible. Like, they're just kind of hard. This one's actually, like, it feels like it's active, it actively hurts to do this dungeon alone. And I, and if I were if I were to wait for uh, matching, I wouldn't find anybody. All right, so we're gonna go over here. Another jester. Hi. That's three. <laughs> Texturing in here is also actually having some issues, like texture overlays. I want to come back here. I didn't kill the Jester. Is he too far out of the mid center? I don't know. But he actually didn't die. Hello, beast ladies. No survivors. Yum yum, says my little demon. That gates, the gate's not there anymore. So once you kill a Halvorath, or no, no, Dracorath, that gate vanishes. Come on. I can't jump over any of this. That's stupid. You can in the Necromancer tomb. So I can jump over that. It's a jester with different dolls, but still dolls. Save it, but I guess not. Wrong way. I need to go over here. More jesters. Almost there. Oh, these are also biscuits. Oh, these are dolls, not babies. There's eight. And hello, Mr. Alistair. Remember, you're not really hard at all. Yeah, you actually have like no HP. He's more of a glass cannon. In that if you let him hit, he does a lot of damage. Wait, what on earth is happening? Come into the middle of the room. I don't want to fight you over there. Come here. Come here. I have to fight him up here. No, I don't. Okay, good. Come 
come on, Alistair. This is just my chance to nail you because you're not moving. Oh no, he has an impenetrable shield. Just keep eating, our, keep drinking our potions. I could defend against that. <laughs> Starting over. Get over here. I'm gonna fight you again. Must have gotten destroyed. Huge hit right here, I'm gonna probably die. Forty percent. Thirty-seven seconds of that. <laughs> Just free shield. I can stop. Do I get rage for attacking you? I do. Gonna make get my heal up first, but I'm actually not gonna need it yet. I'm not going to consume my rage to rampage him. Killian's terror. As a result, I'm going to die. Come on. Two, one.
All right, one hour into this recording, I'm probably gonna speed everything up by a significant amount because that was going very, very long. But we have, again, one more fight. Did one of my things get destroyed? It did, I lost one of my defensive uh, cruxes. So I lost one of my HP ones, so I can use this for more damage reduction. This is actually gonna be hard. I don't know if how I'm gonna do on this, like, realistically, I don't know how I'm gonna do. So, I fully expect to have multiple deaths on this fight. Oh my god, okay, heal up. We start with no rage. When I wanna make sure all my abilities are all cooldowns, so I'm gonna wait for Divine Wrath. Okay, this fight is insanely difficult. So luckily we can't fight those, all we have is Killian. Killian, the god of chaos, the last thing standing in our way. He is a Hydrat, so since you know how they work by this point, you don't really have much to do. If you crit him ten times, you get the fear itself achievement.
my god. <laughs> Jeez, we're gonna pick up all these things to, s to sell. And we got Killian's chain. Don't know what this does. Oh. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab the Staff of Killian. Has Red Gem be the key to bring down the barrier that protects the Ebon Tower? You've extracted the gem that will get you into the Ebon Tower. Oh my god, we're done. Let's, let's please get out of here. All of these missions we can do another time. I am not completing any of them in any time close to this to the present that's actually a really funny picture all right delete 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 don't want to see them fine i'll turn in conwar's horns i'm just so glad that that's done all right we are going to go back to haber i picked up a fashion box what is this oh killian's gem do not throw that away all of these, all of these are gonna get sold. <laughs> all right, let's tape teleport scroll. There it is. I'm gonna sell items, finish the quest, and then we're done. I'm gonna play that entire dungeon at like ten times, fifteen times speed. <laughs> Probably not ten times. Maybe ten times. Nah, ten times speed would make it like six minutes. And actually, that's a little too. Fast. I might do it fine. Whatever. I don't know what I'm gonna do it at, but I'm gonna play it fast with a lot of music because these bosses were. I hate this dungeon. Father. If you're alive, then yes, yes, yes! Elian alive, but hanging by a thread. Still, he's Elian, right? That ought to count for something. Elian and I are out of commission for the time being, though. Give our best to Kelsaic, will ya? Oh my god, 29 million experience. 32 million experience. Still didn't put a dent. We have all this new gear that's enigmatic. And it's all great gear, but it's enigmatic. And we got the Down with the Clown achievement. I'm probably just gonna end up selling all of it because it's enigmatic and I don't want to deal with enigmatic gear. So I'm just gonna sell everything. Make as much money as I can. Plus four and plus five. Thanks for the items, Jelena. You should not have given them to me as enigmatic. Oh my god, that looks so much better already. Alright. Thank god that's over. Jeez, I hate that dungeon. Alright. Oh god, next we gotta go to the oven. Oh, we gotta do another one. Alright, regardless. Anyway. We managed to beat the... Uh... Labyrinth of Terror. That was the dungeon name. We managed to complete the Labyrinth of Terror, but at what cost? And we also managed to uh, save Elian, which was great. And the next thing we need to do is go talk to Murak so we can get into the Ebon Tower, which is another five-man dungeon! I'll see you guys next time.